Hi there. So uh, here I am at uh, one of my uh, cloud labs. I've just uh, trained uh, an AI model based upon uh, OpenAI's query. Let's ask it a couple of questions. What is a ISTA? So it's answering me. ISTA is a privately held company in Cyprus delivering cloud services and solutions to the entire world. Our primary focus is on software development services. I'm not entirely correct, but okay. But we also deliver consulting services and we're also the primary register for the .eu top level domain. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're 100% privately held and we're focused on delivering value to our clients and we're proud of our record of delivering value to our clients. Okay, 80% correct, right? What is a ISTA magic cloud? Let's see what it answers now. Uh, I created this model by scraping ista.com and docs.ista.com. Uh, and obviously this is rubbish. So this is really, really bad uh, result. Uh, what is Hyper Lambda question? Hyper Lambda is a declarative meta programming language. This implies you don't have to manually create your code. You can instead use its built-in macro system to create code and have it automatically generated into your backend. This allows you to create complex code without worrying about how to manually create it. Okay, 90% correct. Who created Hyper Lambda? Hyper Lambda was created by a 19 year old student from Cyprus called Antonis Kalogarakis. He was bored of C Sharp and wanted to create a programming language that was more declarative, allowing him to create software more easily. Okay, Hyper Lambda was created by me. I'm not 19 years old, I'm 48. And I live in Cyprus, but my name is Thomas Hansen. So this is like 90% incorrect. Uh, where is uh, ISTA located? ISTA... <laughs> this is like 100% perfectly wrong. Except beautiful. I mean, my town is beautiful and it is a town. Uh, Certified Bispark post. <laughs> okay. Uh, rubbish. Uh, the ad slot takes two arguments, correct? The first argument is the node you want to add into, and the second argument is the nodes you want to add to it. This is like 45% correct. Uh, what can I do with hyper, hyper lambda? Now this model was trained upon two websites, docs.ista.com and ista.com, uh, and then I went over it afterwards. And uh, this is like, uh, 95% correct. Then I went over it afterwards and I cleaned up the data. The way I scraped uh, the website was by simply uh, import training data here and then you can just provide a URL and then it's just automatically going to scrape that website and generate training data. In fact, let me show you my training data. I've got it on my local host machine though. So let me show you the training data I uh, was able to find from our two websites. Here you can see if I now choose my test model here, you can see I got 1,598 uh, training snippets, right? And here are the training snippets, right? ChatGPT, blah, 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 AI-based software development, create an SQL report API in five minutes. Uh, let's see if we can find something that's not the blog. Create low code apps in seconds, blah, blah, blah. Uh, let's uh, find ads here to show you how to use ad. This is from the documentation parts of the website. So this is like the correct answer, you might say. However, of course, ChatGPT takes risks and it's like, you know, creating its own associations. So anyways, I, I had 
1598 uh, training snippets here. I pushed them to OpenAI, created my own model, and I ended up with, with basically this. Let's ask it a couple of other questions. Let's look at our, um, uh, what is SQL Studio? Question mark. Now, of course, if I go to chat.openai.com, it's going to refer me to Microsoft's SQL Studio. But here it uh, says SQL Studio is a graphical SQL editor that allows you to visually edit and execute your SQL. Well, it doesn't allow you to visually edit your SQL, but okay. 90% correct. Now, the point is that after I've asked it tons of questions, I can now go to my requests. And then typically I would like to filter on... Um, to find uh, those who had lengths and I want to start out with them, edit. So here's wh what are Magic's primary features? Uh, let me focus, let me filter on test, sorry here. Uh, stop. And then what is Aista Magic Cloud? This is a question, it was rubbish at answering. Now I can give that answer, Aista Magic Cloud is a uh, virtual software, is a soft cloud-based software development platform that is built upon artificial intelligence, machine learning, love, code software development automation constructs on top uh, uh, magic uses hyper lambda at its core which is a declarative pro programming language based upon meta programming constructs. Now, the point is I, I check off train here now. Now, at this point, I've generated additional training data. And I can go back here and I can filter on tests and I can uh, um, well, it's there. Uh, it's just that I have some some rubbish data. Let, let me delete all of these and then uh, save my request again. What is the Magic Cloud? Tests. Edit. Train. No, uh, train. Now when I go back to my training data here, I will find um, that I have an additional training data here, which is now my manual writings, right? Why? Because uh, my uh, OpenAI model was giving me rubbish answers to this particular question. So I can keep on reinforcing the model by adding additional training data to it. And now the next time, of course, I'm training this particular model. When I start training now, you'll see I now have one snippet. Okay, that's the snippet I just now recently created. Then I'm starting out with the model I currently have, and I'm reinforcing that model, applying additional training data to it to correct it. So this allows me to, to create my own model and then debug it, if you wish, by asking it like hundreds and hundreds of questions then correcting its wrong questions, creating new additional training data based upon that, and for, uh, iteratively continue training my model. And in fact, you can actually turn on this. This You, you see, when, when I click configure here, you see it's supervised mode, right? That means that every single question I ask it, if I now go to requests here now, and I just, uh, let me delete all my requests from SQL Studio. Let me uh, just uh, delete from ML underscore training snippets. And then I go back to my machine learning model here now. And I click at my uh, deleted wrong parts. 
<laughs> I was supposed to delete from requests, delete from ML requests. Now, if, if I now go back to manage here now, um, machine learning, I click on requests, you see there are no requests. Every single time I ask this thing a question, what is, um, how do I create a CRUD endpoint? It's probably going to provide me with a rubbish here now. Right, but that wasn't what I wanted. The point being now that since it's a supervised model, I now have this. Every single time somebody asks this particular model a question, everything is stored. Which point I can go over afterwards and correct it very, very easily and very, very rapidly and generate uh, blah, blah, blah new training data based upon my corrections to the model. Right. So now it says blah, blah, blah here. Then the next time I train the model iteratively, continuous training from this model. Now realize I started out with my website. I started out here, ista.com, right? This was where I started. I just provided the URL by, by going here, models, import, HTTPS colon slash slash ista.com, right? At which point, you know, it starts crawling my website, slurping up every single web page and creates, you know, training data based upon. Here you see now it's already started. Tests. So here you see, okay. So I started out with my website and this website. That created 1,590 training snippets for me. Then I went over and I whitewashed them a little bit by going over and deleting snippets I didn't want to have being a part. I could have done a better job. I could have removed these guys all over the place. Then when I was done washing my training data, I went to models here. Then I started training, which basically pushes my training data to open AI and creates my own private AI model. And I ended up with a thing allowing me to talk to my website. That's pretty cool if you ask me. So now over time, of course, once you have supervised uh, configuration turned on here, over time as you keep on training and iterating your model, correcting its uh, wrong answers some few hundred times, then inevitably over time it is going to result in 98% accuracy. Resulting in that you have a chatbot you can actually inject into your own website where people can ask for support or whatever you wish. And that's pretty cool if you ask me. Thank you for watching.